Today we're gonna wash our makeup brushes together. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get regarding beauty products and makeup is how I wash my brushes and how often I should wash my brushes and uh, what products to use. So today what I'm going to do is a first impression using the Sigma Express Brush Cleaning Mat and also the Sigma Brush Shampoo Foam. So these two products are from Carol Baker Visage and I'm really excited to try them out. Carol Baker Visage has partnered with Sigma and they now carry all Sigma makeup brushes and these amazing cleaning products that I'm gonna try out today, I'm very excited. I will tell you guys, I normally clean my makeup brushes with a gentle hand soap under running water and I just use it like this, uh, use the brush like this and soap on my hand, squeeze it dry and lay it flat on a towel. So that is how I normally clean my brushes. I don't clean my brushes as often as I should. I have done lots of research about how often you should clean your brushes and the average answer that I come across is about once a month. I have read that you should clean your face brushes more frequently, whether you use a sponge or a brush to apply your foundation, because it, they can carry so much bacteria and that can cause breakouts in your skin. But um, I don't clean my brushes that often. I'm gonna try to get better at it. I think this is gonna be a really fun way to clean my brushes. So hopefully that will motivate me to take better care of them and that will also have a good impact on my skin. So what I'm going to do is just like read the instructions. It's my first time using it. Um, so I have the mat in place. You will see there are um, stickies on the bottom of the mat. So this sticks to the bottom of your sink like so, and that ensures that it suctions in place so you can swirl your brushes on there and it's not gonna go anywhere. So I've already done that, so that's step number one. Step number two is to secure the suction cup. Step number three is to wet the brush under running water and that's gonna get your mat wet. So I'm gonna start with um, my Sigma brush that I've been using, the Flat Kabuki F80. So this brush, I have been using this brush for about a month now to apply my liquid foundation and I love it. So I'm going to start by washing this one and I'm going to follow these instructions so we just get the brush wet. Then we actually put the foam on the mat is what it's instructing us. There's all these different uh, textures on this mat and it, um, they give you different instructions. So rinse eyes, um, refine eyes and face brushes, refine, plush face. So it's instructing you on the best textures to use for certain brushes. And then this one is like a refine to get all the soap out. So you can kind of follow those instructions if you're not sure, or you can kind of play around with it and do what works best for you. I'm gonna just start right over here. And then I'm gonna start swirling. So you can see the product coming out because it's been about a month since I have washed this brush. So this is coming out pretty quick. And then we're gonna add a little bit more water. Okay, and then keep working. I'll do this refined section over here. Keep working your brush until all of the product is out and the water runs clean. So the way that I always test this is when you squeeze your brush like this, if you're still seeing product come out, then you need to go back and scrub a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little more foam. And you can see there's less product coming out. I'm gonna try a couple different bristles here. One thing you wanna try to do is not get the handle of your brush too wet when you're washing it. If you do that, it could wreck your handle um, the, I've had it where my brushes have got too wet in here and the glue is going to come away from this head of the brush and the handle. You're not going to get as much wear. So if you can avoid getting the brush soaked, you want to, you don't want to soak your brush. So I got all of the product out of the brush and I'm just giving it a little squeeze to make sure my water is now clean. So I squeeze the hairs. 
And then what I'm gonna do is lay this flat on the towel here to dry. So I just have a clean hand towel. That's gonna lay flat to dry. And then I'm just gonna go to work on my other brushes. I lay my brushes flat to dry overnight. They should be ready to go for me in the morning. I'm really impressed with how easily the product is coming out of the brushes. I love it. It's like very satisfying when you can see the makeup coming out of your brushes. I do my bigger makeup brushes one at a time and then normally when I move on to my eyeshadow brushes, I will do a few at the same time and just kind of like group them together. A lot of my brushes are Carol Baker Visage. That's where I first worked and um, built my makeup kit, my professional makeup kit. So I have makeup brushes from Carol Baker Visage from years ago, but now they carry Sigma brushes. And one of the other pieces of advice that I always give people when they're asking me about makeup is that when you first start building your personal makeup collection, I advise you to invest in your makeup brushes. Because if you spend money on excellent makeup brushes and then you do take care of them and clean them frequently, you're going to get a lot of use out of them. Some of my makeup brushes are over 10 years old and they still work great. So invest in your makeup brushes because they're your tools. You wouldn't want a carpenter building your house with cheap tools, right? You would want them to be using the best tools to complete the job well. So invest in your makeup brushes and that will really impact your makeup look. So far, I really like the wash eyes texture. So you, you don't have to follow the rules. I'm kind of playing around to find out which textures work best and I'm really liking the wash eyes texture on this mat for my larger face brushes. Three smaller brushes, and this is how I do them to just like save a little bit of time. They're just eyeshadow brushes. And what I am finding so far as I'm going through this cleaning process, so normally I wash my brushes like this on my hand. So obviously there's no texture to like get into the brush and draw the product out. I am finding that the matte is giving it so much more of a deep clean. All of the product is being drawn out and it's definitely easier to get that like really great clean new brush feeling. I wanted to show you guys is how to clean your makeup sponge but I'm gonna try the Sigma shampoo foam on this so I just kind of get the breath the sponge wet and get some soap on there and start working it in and then kind of like rinse it and then I go back with more soap and you can see there was like a lot of product in that. So then you can see the pink color coming back. Then I'll go back in and put more soap where the sponge has product still. And then just kind of like work the soap in. But then at the same time, I'm squeezing the product out. Well, the shampoo is working well for it. We have brought back a lot of its pink color. That's how you wash your makeup sponge. And it goes to dry as well. But then it will get wet in the morning when I use it next time. That's how I wash my makeup sponge. I've partnered with Carol Baker Massage for a really cool giveaway. We're going to give away a Sigma brush shampoo foam, a Sigma cleansing mat, and three Sigma brushes. All of the contest details are in the information box below. You have until Saturday evening at midnight to enter the giveaway, and you're going to want to follow Carol Baker Massage Sarnia on Instagram as well, and their link to their Instagram is in the information box below. I'm so excited to be cleaning my brushes with these Sigma products, and I think you guys are gonna love this too. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about washing your makeup brushes or you have tips for watching your washing your makeup brushes comment below and let me know 
give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys. See you later.